There we go. I don't. Yeah, it was worth it. I think, yeah, they got toasted. Oh. I saw a, a cluster of worms down south, and I was just like, oh no. There's more of these things, but in the hallway <laughs> this time. I. Didn't they do that in Hammerwatch? They had the uh, the spiker dudes that would actually like lurk in hallways in weird spots. Oh, gosh, I'm remembering certain things in Hammerwatch, and I feel like there's something familiar. There was some like thing that I remember was very like tedious to fight because you had to be so cautious in how you like approached it. I remember if it was them specifically. It's been a while, unfortunately. Because, yeah, was that... Was I even doing YouTube at that point? I think I was. I think I hit the record button, but we weren't doing commentary. Because I, I was definitely, like, in a relationship with Shell at the time. Hmm. We don't have the keys still, do we? Nope. We got one key, and then... Oof. Was, was it Yumi and Dad, or was it Yumi, Shell, and Dad? I think it was Yumi, Shell, and Dad. Okay. There we go. Hey, found the button again. Great. Starting to wonder... I, I bet it actually spawns in, in preordained locations. Okay, I found the lightning room again. I think maybe what we're supposed to do is just stamp out every button. Question mark. Oh, because we just, like, didn't stamp out that many before the yeah, time we just, went off? we just got that one makes of sense. them. The apple yeah, felt kind of like the bad reward. <laughs> OG Hammerwatch came out in August 2013. Yeah, so at that point, I had already started my channel. Okay. That is super weird. Do you have a recording of the game? Or is that the only time it's you played it? It's probably long gone. Oh, it bounces off walls. That's good to know. There we go. How long have you been working at your startup? Has just over two years. Just over two years? Okay. I'm just... I'm getting the eight-year mark on YouTube and a less than a month. Yeah. I'm not going to say it's giving me weird feelings, but it's just like, I don't know. Just how long it's been? Or... Yeah, kind of. I think it's one of those that it's like, I really, uh, I don't think I ever gave myself the time to think of, like, this is my job now for the last couple of years. You know, there's, it was mostly just like constantly working, working on stuff. Um, and I think part of it is I every once in a while I look back on like uh, a number of my you know friends from high school or whatnot um, to see like yeah how are they doing and usually the answer is they're doing mostly fine. Ooh, I'm just gonna put a curious box. Do I want deal fifty damage when colliding with enemies? It's, you do contact damage. I think they I... still do damage to you, but. Okay, so it's not that, something I really necessarily want. It's still good if they get nibbly. I'm going for it. The other two things weren't that exciting. Okay. So there's a puzzle all the way down south. And it's probably the one we want to both run at. Yeah, it's together. a speed puzzle. Oh, have, have we gotten confirmation from chat on that one? Yeah. Okay. So No enemy just... in Heroes of Hamwatch does contact damage. They do stab you. Okay, so I Enough. just get ready to start running at the off sections. I don't think I'm doing anything. <laughs> Hooray, a gold chest. Wait, oh, it just opened. Cool. Vendor's coin. Cheaper items. I think it's time for a boss. 
I could be wrong. Feel, feels like it's time. Yep. Here we go. Well, hopefully you're in a much more durable place than last time. I think so. I know I do I'm, a lot more damage, so this should go I'm a lot faster. go deal lot contact faster. damage to this guy. Go hug him. So we did like, just skip one of the bosses, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we skipped the golem. Oh, boy. Because <laughs> I got hit already. <laughs> oh. On the plus side, we have another revive. Good. That's true. Ooh. Ow. I did that to myself. Yeah, so I'll try and keep close to him so he does the spin on me. Yeah. Because my bonfire does ruinous things to him. I think I'm also just faster than you. Ow. There we go. He dead. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I did very much of that boss fight. <laughs> I mean, I only ever had to fight like one of the uh, one of the Bolo dudes at a time. Not oh, okay. not getting stuck down, constantly just, like, is big. I was just killing the Bolo guys. <laughs> and they're they're annoying if you leave them leave them up. I feel like I need I need a spell specifically for like killing individual things. Fortunately, I think this sorcerer is mostly an AOE group killer. But honestly... It is definitely how I usually like to play games. <laughs> especially, like, Heroes, Heroes of Hammerwatch. Like, this very much is the kind of game that you want to kill AoEs. More than... Oh, is it? Yeah. I Like, well, I mean, the, bosses the bosses are kind of are annoying. Like, if the bosses are the hard part in the game, even though, like, you spend most of the time doing the other thing. See, I would say the hardest part of the game is just the time that it takes to m mulch through whole levels to get to the boss. <laughs> That's a good point. Having a really fast meta progression from... Yeah. Like, who cares if the boss kills you? If you can get to the boss uh, two times faster than, like, somebody that can, you know, pick off every enemy slowly one by one, like, you're going to progress twice as fast. I guess... You definitely want to be able to get past the bosses for meta progression stuff, though, right? All right, how... What's the scaling on the rewards? Um, I mean, we've already made 1,400 gold since we got here. Are these spikes just turned off? Yeah, I don't... I was kind of afraid of that room, so I just kind of left. Oh, I see. Now I'm just, like, trapped here. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. I guess I'll just work on this. Gosh, this song is okay. good. I I did it. You did. Hey. <laughs> I only I only got hurt. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go drag that apple. <laughs> I'm out of potion. Good. I'm gonna let that happen for a bit. Watch it. It is a lot of enemies there. Let's go grab some mana crystals and just come back. It's really hard to get close to these guys. Yep. I What I've been doing is kind of relying on my life regen to heal me. So I'll just kind of blitz up, grab, uh, or drop the bonfire. A great threat was spawned. Okay. Is that what those ghost things are? Yeah, I think there's a dude that's summoning them. Oh. I forget, but we're going to want to... It's the priests? Now I forget. Oh, boy. No, it's the... Is it these guys? Oh, thank goodness. 
Careful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, it's the statue. You're... You really want to get close to them to shoot off that freezing orb. It just doesn't have the range. I assume there's not a way to increase that, is there? Uh, I think it maybe goes up With as level you put levels into it, but I don't think so. I think it's intentionally short to prevent you from cheesing things. Two more to go. I think there might be statues. There's multiples all of these guys. I suppose really all I need to do is let you put the thing down and attract them, and I just need to put it on so it hits them after that point. Yeah. Let's see. For the record, I know the paladin in, in this is still ridiculous because they've got the like frontal invincibility. Oh, just always. I, I don't know if it's always exactly, but I remember it's like really good. Was that a thing in the original? Y you could get a shield. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, watching him just mulch himself on that is good stuff. But does it deal damage based off their attack? Every time it or you something? hit it, it explodes. Oh. Which is why you see a bunch of enemies just congregate to, on it and then just start dying. It really is a pipe bomb. <laughs> okay, so... Ow. Uh, so the way it works with the Paladin is you're, you block projectiles from the front. So it's not like melee hits. Yeah. Okay. I guess that has a lot of advantages, but you do have to melee, so... I'm mostly just thinking of, like, dealing with these guys. Yeah. Right, it would almost be useful to have, like, a, a combo team, because then, like, one of you could just be standing there eating the arrows. There we go. Okay, I... Uh... A while ago, I guess at the start of this, you said you were never, like, that good at bullet hells. No. Um, which is fine. Do you remember the name of that uh, bullet hell shmup game that you bought? It was, like, just after we moved to Massachusetts. And it was, like, ten bucks on a website. And we oh. lost the key for it, and Dad had to, like, try and email them to... Yeah, that's. it was called Devastator. Devastator. There we go. I've been trying to remember that game for forever. Yeah, it was a surprisingly good game for, like, how shoddy everything else about it was. <laughs> yeah. It's really funny because it really, like, all the problems there were just, like, problems of, like, there wasn't really, like, trustworthy things like Steam. Yeah. I, just, the like, indie game market was, was pretty and... much non-existent prior to Steam. Like, there was there was some, but it was it was not much. Yeah, and, you know, like, I don't know. I'm not, like, a Steam is the best thing ever, but it really was, like, <laughs> good that it happened. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I, I don't I don't usually, well, I don't know. I'm not going to say that, like, Steam needs to be the only online platform. I'm going to get out of that area. Yeah, it certainly is a monopoly. Oh, yeah. I died. Yeah. <laughs> you were right. Get out of there. Ow. Yeah, there's just enough of them, oh. and they're just painful enough, too. Was that the first time I died? <laughs> yeah. How do you know? And I was thinking, gosh, I have all this money I'm not going to, like, get to keep. You can't Might... fall in that chasm, can you? No. Oh, yeah, that regen speed really is a lot faster, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, they actually went back to Hammerwatch and rebalanced a lot of things. Like, oh. it's going back to what I was talking about. Yeah, like, apparently the Sorcerer just was added. Cool. Yeah. Had no idea. I'd say I'd take a peek at it, but I'd probably just end up wanting to play more Heroes of Hammerwatch. Do you like the meta progression? Is that, like, a big um, part of this? 
I, you know, I always have to kind of question on that one. I like the idea of the meta progression, I think, more than the meta progression. But, like, we've already made it to level 3 out of 5. So maybe okay. it isn't so bad. Uh, I think I hated it more back in the beginning. Uh, back when this was in early access, because it felt like everything was a lot slower. Ah. Uh, yeah. In, like, a really negative way. Ow. All right. Remember, flee yeah. left. Hopefully left. Oh, because it... Yeah. Otherwise, you get cornered. Like, the original early access launch of this game was much more punishing feeling. Uh, and I'd really have to go back to my videos, but... You know that, like, stone golem that we fought that killed you, but I was able to clear it? Much he, harder. Yeah, he would, like, one or two-shot me. Constantly. And... Oh, I think he was, like, a two-shot for me. <laughs> yeah. And so I think an amount of that really is just the meta progression working in my favor. Um. But that it was just not very fun at launch. Uh, yeah. And so I was kind of iffy on the meta progression because I was just like, this just feels like grinding for the sake of grinding. Right, uh, right. Because that's really the, the danger of it. Yeah. Like that yeah, works no, think... in... Sorry. Oh, I was just going to say that that was kind of the thing with Poker Quest was I thought the medic progression would be fun, but then it turned out I was fine without it because the game had kind of been balanced that way. Yeah. But I guess I was thinking it does kind of act as like a little bit of an accessibility feature of like, I don't want to play the game on easy exactly. I just want to like play the game so that like I can feel like I'm going to eventually eventually get there. Yeah, I think that's a good way of doing meta progression, of just like here's a small boost to make it easier, but the game yeah, is like, otherwise yeah. mostly beatable. I never like yeah. meta progression where it's like you need you need to grind at least a l x amount to even have a chance of clearing a roguelike. I think that's <laughs> that's when I start having issues with it, and well, so I think with this one, how, how did you feel about? Um, oh gosh. Oh boy. <laughs> You went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. I don't know if I can rescue you down there. Is That's it? okay. Oh. I rescued myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I may die anyways. Let's get out of there. Just run. I am working on that. I'll just body block. <laughs> Thank you. I ran to a bunch of mana crystals. <laughs> it's enough to get the freezing sphere up. <laughs> Thank goodness. All right. Because, <laughs> yeah, we have a decent chunk of money, and it would be height would of be tragedy. Oh, I think, I think that's the, the thing. I'm for the health crystals and thinking I might have gotten all of them already. <laughs> I think that's the thing I hate most about this meta progression is the fact that you have to send your stuff down. Mm, that if it didn't do that, it would be a lot less. Yeah, because it would take out a lot of the tension, but it would also take out a lot of that, like, kind of punishment of, like, oh... You know, we didn't give you any any good... Uh, oh, there's some cheese here if you want it. I'm um, taking it. The cheese. You know, we didn't give is. you any elevators for the last, like, three levels. Uh, so that 10,000 gold that you painstakingly saved up and scrammed for, it's all gone. And it's like, eh. Yeah. I mean, I've seen a few different games that are doing it. Why do you think it is that they... So, is it mostly just the stakes? They want to make sure the stakes are there? Um, kind of, yeah. I don't know. I I think stakes are kind of important, but potentially also just frustrating. Um, what are the stakes that you like having in a game? Um, frankly, I don't. I okay. think stakes work really well for a, the first time that I run into it. But uh, Dark Souls, for example, when you die in Dark Souls, you drop all your money on the ground. And uh, you have to, like, find your body and get back to it to get all your money back. Idea of it is kind of neat. Uh, but now, like, every game that falls in its footsteps does the same thing. Which, like, the... I'm not going to say the allure. The novelty of it. There we go. Is kind of gone at this point. Same thing kind of with, like, heavy grinding in a, in a roguelite. It's like it worked really well in Dark Souls. It worked really well in... 
Uh, Do you think it worked really well in Rogue Legacy, given that that really is... And so that's what I was going to bring up. I think it did. Okay. A lot of that has to do with the fact that Rogue Legacy is beatable within, like, 10 hours. Uh, that it's not actually a very grindy game. It seems like it just because that's what the game is. But, you know, it's not going to take you 100 hours to be able to beat the last boss. Or unlock everything of any import. Like, imagine if it took you 30 hours of grinding just to get the, the dragon. Like, yeah. you'd be pretty tired of the game by the time you get the dragon. And unless the dragon is, like, incredibly fun, you're kind of just like... Why did I do that? Yeah. Uh, and so the roguelike I point to most often when it comes to like meta progression and, and my umbrages with it uh, is Gunfire Reborn, which is like first person shooter roguelike, pretty fun. I'll probably suggest we play it at some point and then give you my save file uh, <laughs> because it takes a hundred hours to unlock everything in that game. And like, I just don't have time for that. Yeah. And maybe that's it with all of these things. It's like the risk versus reward works well, except for the fact that I don't like being stuck in a game anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and it, I guess that's also just like your experience wanting to play lots of different games and it being part of your professional life rather than like... Yeah, and so I have to temper my kind of expectations with that. But it's like, I'm not even going to say it's like a professional life thing. It's just like there's so many video games nowadays that it, it yeah. feels kind of... I don't want to say... Uh, I mean, I really like that. I mean, I'll, I'll keep bringing up Poker Quest just because it's the one I've been playing. There's, like, a lot of replayability about it, more than, like, I think you'd usually care for in a game because you're not going to do that oftentimes. But, like, to me, I'm like, I paid money for this thing. And, it's true. You know, <laughs> I don't need to go buy another game for a while because I'm enjoying playing more of those. I think I've always been somewhat influenced by our parents' desire to have us just, like, keep playing the same games forever. Like, I remember, yeah. what was it, Twilight Princess came out, and I'm like, hey, can we get this? And I think it was Mom was like, no, 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 just go play more Ocarina of Time. And I'm like, <laughs> I've played, well, like, a lot of that. We never beat it, though, which is odd. You and Dad would always go, like, a little crazy sometimes when you went in, like, to the game store together without her influence. I think she was always trying to push back against that one. <laughs> yeah, but they were so cheap. And, like, that's how we got, uh, like, Icewind Dale and stuff. Yeah. And, like, quite a lot of things. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think it makes a lot of sense for you, like, these days to be pretty yeah. cavalier about it. But I think at that point in time, you know, it wasn't clear that you were going to go off and become a professional video game player. <laughs> and mom maybe wanted you to do other stuff some of the time, too. You know, if she knew that, I suspect she would have had a different response. Like, I think in her mind, it wasn't really... I'm really curious about that. But I, I don't know. I, I told you about my neighbor in college who was like a professional DJ and his parents sent him to college anyway and said like, nope, you're quitting your DJ business. Oh, yeah, because he'd been doing pretty well, too, right? He was doing great. Like, he he made more money as a high schooler than I currently do. Um, yeah, I mean, right. Like, I think if that were the case for mom and dad, they would not have insisted you need to go to college. No. Like, if you had just, like, already had the channel running and, yeah. Though I think going to college was, like, super useful, even for the channel. And also right. just kind of, like, for me as a person. I Yeah, no, I, like, yeah, I totally see that, too. I met a lot of... Oh, okay. We do have a... Uh, we do have a mineshaft here. Oh. So we, like, clear the level and then do that, right? Yeah. I think so. If it looks like um, things are getting a little dicey, maybe not. This purple shield is in vulnerability, or...? No, no. It's... Uh, it does give you a damage resistance, I think. But... Uh, it mostly gives you effects based on certain items you have. So if you notice, I'm doing, like, little Nova things. Ow. Uh, yeah, definitely not in vulnerability. Um, but so I do, like, little Novas while that shield is up. Okay. Does yours... Is there meta progression to make it, like, last longer, too? I So I've picked up a bunch of items that make it last longer. Okay. I was just thinking, it felt like it was so, like, short as to not really be, like, 
useful. <laughs> I mean, I guess I get it occasionally, and maybe that's useful and stuff. Okay. Remember, flee up. We yeah. don't know what's on the right. It worked out great last time. <laughs> There we go. Such a good song. Yeah. Here's the question. Is this going to supplant your listening of the regular Hammerwatch soundtrack? <laughs> um, you know, it's been a while, so yeah, I'm gonna probably back check off. this one out afterwards. I, the songs were really similar, though. I'm not sure how I, much they really changed, even. Yeah, I, I think this might actually be a song in the original one. Yeah, right, like, it, it feels like it's just the same song, even. <laughs> Watch them have just, like, ported it. Oh. oh. We should have used the elevator. I... Gosh, I didn't even see that projectile. It's okay. Sent to town. <laughs> I mean... Oof. Okay, well... Mm. I, I didn't notice there was an elevator. I'm just gonna grab some armor. <laughs> And then I'm going to go buy keys. It was a slightly different elevator from normal. I see. Go for the bonus ore gain item. Oh, right, because there's something I can make here at the anvil, right? Yeah, I have like curios box. Can. Okay, so this makes it so items that you pick up, um, so you can craft it using ore, but you can also double their effect. So I have curios of box here. Does that mean crafting it? I need to craft it to use it or have it? I think crafting it just makes it so you start with it. I could be okay. wrong. I'm gonna craft it. And then I guess I can attune to it, and then I'll get more health and mana and stuff. I think so. Hooray. Ooh. Okay. And I guess there are more things like that somewhere. I get... Yeah, crafting it makes it so you start with it. Cool. I'm going to grab the purse. Now, do you always start with it, or do you only start with it on this specific run? It's a lot of ore to <laughs> put into it to not always start with it. I hope, yeah, I'd, I'd certainly hope I get to keep it. Just, just that specific run. Oh, boy. Wait, so I, I just got an item and that's it? That 10 ore just went into that thing for this one run? Yep. Huh. Better be a good run. But then you put three stars into a tuning to it, so you're just doubling down on it further. I guess so. What, what else do you do with the ore? Uh, so I guess you don't, um, you haven't dealt with this yet, but the, uh, let's go with these two. Uh, so you upgrade the town using ore, but I think you're really lucky, uh, in the fact that because I've got a near maxed out town, you don't have to. There we go. Ooh, wizard again. I forget what the wizard... Oh, right, right, right. You can also sell ore for large amounts of money. Uh, so if you want to get some of the upgrades faster, that's the other thing. This so if I really can't really upgrade tempting. the town... And I don't really care much about, like, one-off things. I should just go sell all of them, right? Let's see. Sell the ore? Yeah, probably. Who's the person I sell the ore to? Uh, let's see. You sell it to the dude. Yeah, if you look on the map, it's that dude. I don't even have to upgrade, because I'm not quite done upgrading my town. 
It's really expensive. <laughs> I should maybe save my ore, but I... Wow. I don't remember this being here. This must have been added with a DLC, but there's a whole nother level. I guess if I'd known, I could sell my ore earlier. I could have gotten one of those priest upgrades. Now I'm trying trying to decide, do I want to go for life regen or do I want to go for mana? <laughs> so really I just put 10 ore into that thing and it's this round only? Mm, it doesn't sound right though, because I have this respec thing. Is it that I have to craft it each time I want it for the run, but I only have to spec it once for the attune? Okay, I've blown a lot of money. Hopefully I do a lot of damage now. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I, I think the attunement you get to keep. Okay, that makes sense. I think it's just crafting is the one-off. Ten ore on that thing, just get the one item. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it seemed pretty good, so... I'll just nice. probably sell the ore in the future until... Yep. <laughs> maybe I decide to play this on my own, maybe not. 